Breaking news out of Orange County this morning. Fire heavily damaged a commercial building in Santa Ana. CBS News' Cara Finstrom is live there. It's on McFadden Avenue. Cara. The fire raced through the backside of this complex, and we want to give you a look at the flames. Some video that was shot here earlier this morning. Firefighters say two businesses that shared a space were completely destroyed. Everything inside was charred. The flames shot through a roof. They pushed out a warehouse door early this morning. A woman who was sleeping in an adjacent building and a security guard both called 911. That woman told us she was awakened by loud banging noises as the fire spread. Now, firefighters tell us that a third business here was heavily damaged. It's a family owned company that sells uh, fire resistant clothes largely for electrical workers. Firefighters here this morning uh, worked to help the businesses salvage what they could. Each uh, firefighter would so give us a uh, slightly <laughs> more accurate picture of how much damage we had, but it wasn't until um, the captain actually let us go into the building. He, we weren't supposed to. He let us in there. It wasn't until we walked in and saw it that we were like, wow, everything is damaged. Everything is gone, the whole space. And anything that was plastic was melted. Um, it looked like a horror movie. Everything was wet, everything was black, and the smell of smoke was like overwhelming. Two of our employees just showed up. You don't even know how to <laughs> react to a scenario like that. Nobody expects. You always think, oh, the damage, the fire is not my unit, or it must be my neighbor. It's not going to be our place. It's just going to be minimal. Until you you see what fire can do, it's um, you just don't really have a concept of how how much it can destroy just like everything. It melted anything. Anything that was plastic that was on the wall just was dripping down, like gone. Yeah, it started next door. They said that it burned through the wall and then it burned on the ceiling. And then it started burning its way down. I honestly think uh, that it's the, if it wasn't for that flame resistant products in here, I think this thing would would have been a lot worse. These must have seen extreme temperatures because they charred, but they didn't burn. The steel around them is, you know, is all deformed, but uh, that's our that's our flame-resistant insulation. Between them, you see those two fused together? Yeah. That's the plastic that melted and shrink-wrapped them. You know, it's interesting, if you look here, you can see where the, um, the plastic melted but the, the flame resistant fabric actually, you know, it did its thing. The really interesting thing for us and the thing that we were happy with was seeing that our, our garments, any products that were sitting around, there were lots of orders that were on tables, the garments were sitting there, they were like, it was as if nothing happened to the garments. There was uh, maybe, if anything, some smoke damage, like a little bit of charring here and there if flame actually touched it. So for us, that was, okay, that's great. You know, the product did exactly what it was supposed to do. Um, you know, you'd see our sewing machines sitting there completely destroyed and deformed looking, and then a perfect cone of FR thread sitting there as if nothing happened to it. I'm curious to see how these uh, products are. Oh, that's fascinating. This is awesome. This box is all burnt, and the garment has plastic that melted onto it. Yeah. They're fine. Other than, well, I wouldn't want to wear it because there's multiple fused together in plastic, but yeah, I'm, I'm so, as, hard, as horrific as all this is, it's really amazing to see what happened with our product. Wow. Well, there's a certain irony in flame resistant clothing business <laughs> burning down. Is our insurance policy paid up? There we go. Oh, see these machines, Wes? They all melted together. It's fine. It's, I won't say it's fine, but it's, uh, it's, it didn't burn. If that was a, a non flame resistant product, that would have just been a melted ball of plastic or it would have been ash.
It makes me feel good about putting this on people, you know? A lot of the orders that we had been trying to push through and that were in the warehouse during the fire were for people who were actually working on going to work on storm in Hurricane Irma. And it was all bagged up, sitting on the table, ready to go. We were getting, gonna ship it that Monday. We didn't even have a day to stop and feel sorry for ourselves. We had to figure out the very next day, how are we gonna make sure the people working the storm have their FR? When you're just talking about tangible equipment and everything, your entire operation is gone now. What do you do? How do you recover from that? I'm actually really proud that our team was so willing to go like above and beyond. And that even that next day, we made sure that some products were already shipping out and that we had a plan for the entire, that entire week.